continuation of the previous uh, lecture that is for this circuit we need to find the this act this transistor is in either active or saturation or cutoff now first assume that the transistor is in active region so it should be 0.7 volt so i am applying a cable across this loop so minus 2 plus ib into 10 kilo plus 0.7 is equal to 0 so what ib will become 1.3 by 10 kilo so this will become 1 point uh, you can say 0 0.13 milliampere so this is ib so what can be ic so 100 times that is beta times ib so 0 0.13 milliampere so ic will become 13 milliampere now again we can um, tell so if it is more than 10 milliampere i can say it is in other saturation region but anyway we will find the voltages so which is here is vc so what is vc vc is 10 minus 13 milli into 2 kilo again it will become 10 minus 26 so minus 16 volts so which is not possible so that means this junction also in forward bias again the transistor is in saturation only right so this is how to find the modes of operation next i am taking one more circuit it is like this so it is increased to 100 kilo ohm and one resistance is added to the emitter and this is reduced to 1 kilo ohm now again this is ib this is ie and we are assuming that the transistor is in active region so assume that active region of transistor this is assumption now apply kvl so it is minus 5 plus 100 kilo into IV plus 0.7 plus so the previously it was not there now it is there so I have to apply this IE into 1 kilo ohm is equal to 0 so this is one equation but we are having IB and IE so we know that IE is equal to IB plus IC again we know IC is equal to beta times IB if you substitute here I will get IE is equal to beta plus 1 times of ib now i can replace this ie by beta plus 1 times of ib then i can take ib common so ib will become 100 kilo plus beta plus 1 times of 1 kilo which is equal to this is 5 which is going outside so 5 minus 0.7 so that will become 4.3 so what is ib 4.3 by 100 kilo plus beta is given as 100 so beta plus 1 means 101 so 101 into 1 101 kilo ohm so total it will become 4.3 by 201 milliampere so what is this value 4.3 by 4.3 by 201 0.3 by 201 it is 0.021 milliampere so ib we got 0.021 milliampere or we can say 21 microampere which is ib now compared to the previous two questions ib was very high now it is 21 microampere i know that ic is equal to beta times ib so 100 into 21 microampere so what it will become 2.1 milliampere now it is see it is less than the our required so the current so it should be generally it is to be less than 10 milliampere always so there is some conditions we will get now i know ib i know ic also now i can find ie ie is equal to ic plus ib so it is 2.1 milliampere plus 21 microampere so approximately it will become 2.102 milliampere etc so approximately we can take ic and ie approximately equal now so what is this vc i can find 10 minus 2.1 milli into 1 kilo so 1 kilo milli cancel 2.1 so it will become 7.9 volts as vc similarly if i, if I find ve ve is equal to this current and this drop so ie is one 2.1 milli 
into 1 kilo so again it will become 2.1 volts so this is vg what about vb i know ib so what is this drop so ib we got 21 micro ampere so this drop will become 21 micro into 100 kilo so what is this drop it will become so 100 means 2.1 volts is the drop here so what is the remaining drop 2.9 volts is the drop here so 2.9 minus 2.1 so it will become approximately 0.7 or 0.8 so now see vb we got 2.8 or we can say 2.7 also no problem vc we got 7.9 ve we got 2.1 volts now vb is 0 0.7 volt only so no problem it is in forward bias so what we what should be vc vc should be greater than vb so it is 7.9 it is 2.8 so both that is emitter base junction is forward bias collector base junction is in reverse bias mode that means the transistor is in active mode so what are the assumptions we have made that is correct only right so again i'm repeating so we need to find either due through kvl kcl all the currents and voltages now once we found that so the emitter base junction should be forward by us. so it should be vb at least 0.7 volts and vc should be greater than vb to make collector base junction reverse bias so that we need to check right in the next lecture we will see we will find or we will assume that the transistor is in saturation and we will work to find ic ie ib and vc ve vb and we will conclude that it is in a saturation or active regions right